Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today I'm going to be telling you about the new Lux lipsticks from ColourPop. I ordered five shades so I will be doing lip swatches of all five shades. These lipsticks launched at the end of January. A lot of the shades sold out almost immediately although ColourPop has said that they're working on a restock. Keep an eye on the ColourPop website because they usually restock things like this pretty quickly. The lipsticks retail for $7 each which is a really nice price. This packaging it feels very hefty. Maybe you can tell from the sound since you can't like reach through the screen and feel it but there is some heft to it. It does feel weighty. It feels very luxurious. They come in these little white cardboard boxes with the rose gold lettering and there is a sticker on top that tells you the shade name. The inside of the box has these really cute little stars printed too. I just think that's a cute detail. I know it doesn't really matter but I like it. The lipstick tube itself is all rose gold. It has ColourPop printed on it. It also has these little stars printed on the tube and the lipstick just twists up and it also has these little stars printed on it. I think that is such an adorable little detail. I really love these. I hated using them because they're so pretty and I just wanted them to stay perfect forever. I noticed when I was looking at swatches of these lipsticks online, from photo to photo, the shades looked really different. It made it difficult for me to decide which ones I really wanted to order and which ones I was really gonna like. I'm not sure why, but this launch in particular, I just found it really difficult to decide what the shade was gonna look like. So before I get into the swatch, I just wanted to do a quick little comparison to show you some other similar shades in the ColourPop line. I am not saying that these are dupes. Let's be very clear about that. I'm not saying that these are shade dupes. I just wanted to show you some shades in a similar family so that you can really get an idea of what the color is going to look like. Here is the Lux lipstick in Uno Moss in the middle. And if you like any of these other shades, then you'll probably like this one. These are the lippy sticks in the shade Parker and Sure Thing. This is the Ultra Satin Lip in Screenshot. And this is the Ultra Satin Lip in Double Tap. So if you have any of these other colors and you enjoy them, then you will probably like Uno Mas. Next, we have the Lux lipstick in the shade Pinkies Up. This one was a lot more of a dark brown than I expected. So if you like the lippy stick in the shade Crack Me Up, the Ultra Matte in the shade Monday, or the Ultra Satin in the shade Strip, then you will probably like Pinkies Up. In the middle here we have the Luxe Lipstick in Still Crazy. So if you like the lippy sticks in the shade Cami or the Ultra Satin in the shade Calypso, these happen to be two of my favorites by the way, then you will probably like Still Crazy. Here in the middle we have the Luxe Lipstick in the shade Ghosted. This is the Matte X Lippy Stick in the shade Gold Digger. And this is an Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Bumble. If you like either one of these, you'll probably like Ghosted. Ghosted is a little bit more of a strawberry-ish pink compared to these two, but these are the closest I could find. The last set of comparisons I have for you today is for the Luxe Lipstick in Gallop. I realize that these aren't all super similar, but I feel like if you like these kind of shades, you'll like Gallop. This is the Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Rain, and these are both Ultra Matte Lips. This is Love Bug, and this is Mama. I hope that those comparisons were helpful for you guys. I know that I find that kind of thing helpful when I'm trying to choose shades online that I can't see in person. So if you want to see more of that in the future, just leave a comment and let me know and I will try to make that happen for you. Now let's jump into the lip swatches and I'll give you all my thoughts at the end.
Overall, I am very impressed by these Luxe lipsticks. They have a super smooth satin finish. They're very opaque and they don't drag on the lips. My lips don't feel dry at all. Of course, they're not transfer proof because they are a satin, but I do find them to be pretty long wearing. I definitely needed to touch up after eating, but overall, I'm happy with the wear time on these. The packaging is gorgeous. I love rose gold, throw stars in there, I'm happy. I mean, if only there was glitter, I'd be in heaven. <laughs> For $7, this packaging is above and beyond what I expected. It feels luxurious in my hand. It looks beautiful. The formula feels very luxurious as well. Surprisingly, the nude shades were not my favorites. I loved the deeper and brighter shades that I got. Still Crazy is the shade that I've been wearing throughout the talking portions of this video, and I think it's my favorite. I don't know what it is about 2018, but I have actually been really drawn to pink lipsticks, and I have never really liked them before. This is just such a beautiful, bright shade. It's somewhere between a rose and a berry. It's a roseberry shade. And the biggest shocker of all, Total Wild Card, the shade Gallop. This shade is a super warm, almost orangey, brownish red. Definitely not something I would typically be drawn to, but I just love the way it looks. I like the way it looks with my skin tone. I love the way it looks with my hair. I'm just shocked that I love this one. So still crazy and Gallop, my favorite shade so far. I will definitely be ordering more shades. I know I want the shade Appy, but if you ordered these or if you have these on your wish list, let me know what shades you think I should pick up because there will definitely be a round to order on these. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching and spending some of your time with me today. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Who needs to spend their time wisely? It's for jumps. No one knows. It's fine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> almost dropped it. My hand is so stained. The life of a swatchaholic. The most stained hands and fingers ever. <laughs> Worth it. Leave this weather. Not cutting it. Really helpful when I'm trying to sh uh, the <sighs> shoes shade shan shack that. What am I even talking about? These lups lups lipsticks. Dang it. Lups lipsticks. Never gonna be able to say that. Awesome. That bodes well for this video. Uh, Lux lipstick. Lux lipstick. Blah. Guys, I don't know what to do with my life, but I cannot find my mini cans of Coke Zero anywhere. All I can find are these mini bottles and I just, I miss my mini cans. That's not even a first world problem. That's just me complaining. Oh, uh, get over it. How about this like pink rose gold maroon? shadow for everybody out there who says your makeup always looks the same how about that huh oh yeah this highlight though i don't know what to do with myself i just stare at my highlighter all day long when i wear this it's the hyper real glow palette and flash and off from mac that's launching later this month and uh, i just love it i just want to bathe in it i want to put it on my face and on my hands and on my shoes and on my dog please don't come for me i'm kidding i don't put makeup on my dog but if she could talk she would ask me to put this highlighter on her because it's so good what people must think i am the weirdest person ever guess what i'm even weirder in person believe it or not i am okay i've got to film another video so <laughs> i'll look exactly like this in my next video okay bye